God wants you to know this about cussing. This can be a very hard topic for some people because I know a lot of people that have just grown up cussing. Christian, yeah, but cussing their entire life, since childhood, since birth, and it doesn't affect them. They're still children of God and they do the work of Jesus Christ daily and they pick up the cross daily, but they might not understand what's coming out of their mouth and they might not understand what is coming out of their mouth that could be affecting other people and harming them. In Proverbs 18, verse 20 through 21, it says, from the fruit of their mouth, a person's stomach is filled. With the harvest of their lips, they are satisfied. The tongue has the power of life and death and those who love it will eat its fruit. When you speak negativity over your life or someone else's or someone that you don't even see or know, you are affecting them spiritually. Whenever you say, I am, fill in the blank, you are putting that on yourself. And I'm not talking about manifestation. I'm not talking about any new age stuff. I'm talking about speaking of life over every situation. I'm talking about speaking the name of Jesus over absolutely everything. And cussing and saying evil things, just in general, comes from your heart. It does not come from the Spirit of God. It comes from you. What comes out of your mouth directly shows and translates what's inside of your heart. In Jeremiah 17, 9, it says, The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? Getting control of your tongue, getting control of your heart is probably the biggest thing, the most important thing that we can do, not just as Christians, but as people. Like I said earlier, what you say directly affects how things are because what comes out of your mouth reflects your heart and what your heart reflects is what you are and even if you don't feel convicted from cussing or speaking evil you are still exerting that evil out onto other people and the world in matthew 15 verse 10 jesus says listen and understand what goes into someone's mouth does not defile them but what comes out of their mouth that is what defiles them and in verse 18 he says but the things that come out of a person's mouth come from the heart, and these defile them. For out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, and slander. False testimony and slander are some big ones, especially in my generation. That'd be lying and gossip. How are we supposed to lead more people to Jesus if all the outside sees is dirt how are we supposed to lead people to heaven if what people see as christians are people that are just speaking evil and speaking death over other people we are called to be different we're called to be like christ he is supposed to be our number one example but when we are spewing and just speaking death all the time over everything over every situation of these curses and all this stuff what is the world going to see What's going to make people want to be followers of Christ after seeing that? So even if you think it doesn't affect you, you might be affecting someone else. You might be affecting someone else spiritually. I encourage you to pray and ask God if cussing and just speaking evil things, gossip, slander, lying, if any of these things are affecting you, even you don't know it. Ask God to make it known and make it clear to you what needs to be removed. And he will help you. He will let you know. But it's up to you to put in the work, put in the time, put in the effort to stop these things. That's all. God bless.